Now let's go a little deeper and look at some of the facts uh, relating to client-centric growth strategies. And I will leverage largely on the research work that's been done by many organizations on how uh, this kind of an approach uh, can really be beneficial. And that will, I think, throw a lot of insights or light into, you know, why we should be doing it. Uh, as per Deloitte, organizations that have a strong client-centric growth approach or what we call as a client-centric strategy uh, are at least 60% more profitable than those that are not. And that's very important, right? So first things first, you should be profitable and you should be more profitable when you use an approach like this. The next is the average revenue growth. The revenue growth rate of companies which actually implement these strategies correctly is at least two to three folds higher than their competitors. Uh, another important uh, insight or finding is that uh, companies that prioritize this kind of an approach, uh, which is on client centric strategy and all that stuff, uh, see at least a minimum of 50% increase in their client retention rates, which is something that I talked about even earlier, and their client advocacy, uh, referrals that your existing clients can give, and so on and so forth, uh, goes up to as much as 60%. And this is a data from um, Forrester. So the question is, how about your organization? Do you at all feel that consistent growth is an important aspect or important uh, priority for your business? If so, how good is your client-centric growth approach? Do you at all use any such approaches like client-centric growth approach? And if so, what are the challenges you are facing? These are the questions I want to leave you with for you to ponder before we move forward to the next.